Yeah. So today I am showing the Nokia Maps and related applications for navigation and moving around. Uh, what we have announced uh, new for today is the Nokia Transport. It's a public transportation application. And here I've saved a tile that tells me how to get to the Barcelona airport. And it's something that is reaching into the sky, looking at all the bus schedules, the train schedules in Barcelona. And it now shows me that uh, I have a couple different ways to get there. I can take the A1, I can take the pink line and change to the R2, uh, or I can take the gray line. But I'm interested in taking the soonest one, and in, it's only one stop, so I will have to walk to the, the station, which is Plaza España, and then take the A1 to the terminal. Now, I don't know where Plaza España is, so I can press the map button, and it will find me. I am here, we're in Hall 7, and there it is, that's where I pick it up, right at that intersection. So this will tell me how to get around town, to go places, even if I don't know my way around. So the other thing is if I'm, if I'm driving, then I can use Nokia Drive, which has the full turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So this shows me, I'm, I'm not driving, but it thinks I'm driving, so it, it shows me the, the landmarks and uh, has the ability to, to do more. Let me go to the settings. Now I can, I downloaded Catalonia. So the map of Barcelona and the area is now on my phone. And I can, let me turn that out of here. Settings. Here's an important feature. Because I have the map downloaded to the phone, I can turn the connection and it will run completely offline. So I'm not using any data charges. If I travel, there's no roaming, there's no need. If, I, if I'm in an area where there's no internet coverage, I don't get lost because it doesn't stop. It will always continue to, to show me how to get there. So that's an important feature, the new feature of the Drive application. Nokia Maps we've also made many changes to. And aside from having a new map color and map experience that we developed in partnership with, with Bing Maps. So Bing Maps and Nokia Maps now have a very similar look to them. There's a button here that's become the most popular feature of Nokia Maps. If you press the button, it will find all of the popular places near where you are. And because Nokia has licensed the guides from Michelin Guide, Lonely Planet, TripAdvisor, these, these recommendations are from good places. It's not us deciding what is good and what is not. And if I'm interested in maybe only seeing where to eat and, and drink, nearby I can say, no, no, I don't want hotels, I already have a hotel, but maybe you can show me information about Terraza. So this is, looks like it's a nice nightclub, it's one of the city's top summertime dance locations. This came from Lonely Planet, if I want to call them I can just push the button and call them, here's when they're open, that's the website. So we have lots of information about the, the things to do in a city and not just about how to get around the city, which is very helpful because even if you're living in, your own, in the city where you live, you're having a dinner and you say, where should we go next? Yeah, let's push the button. And you find good suggestions. So it's the kind of thing people will use at home. And the last one we're showing here is what's called Nokia Pulse. And that's people, uh, you know, now that we have mobile phones, you never know where your friends are. And most of the conversations between myself and my wife or my kids are, where are you, honey? Can you come pick me up? And now we have an ability to send location style messages so that if we say, let's, let's meet here, then here's a message that we are using to share just between the, my friends who are working today at the Mobile World Congress. And it says, you know, let's meet. I can press the button and get directions. I didn't have to do anything. In fact, if I change, if I write a comment back like, okay, it 
it is saying I am at Finca de Barcelona Salo 7. So it knows I'm here. I press the button, now everybody knows where I am, and I didn't have to tell it anything. So it's adding your location to every time you, you say, which is nice. Maybe you're on the freeway and you're, it's slow, you push the button and say, I'm here, and your wife can see your home.